question is from Thatchman19. What tips or advice would you give to someone who suffers from body dysmorphia and is triggered in a gym? Train at home. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to go to the gym yeah. at all. Um, have you guys ever met anybody like this? Mm, yeah. Yeah. And uh, like I've had clients that have come in that have been very super like self-conscious yeah. and have really had to take my time with – you know, like, like staying in this. I, and this is where I really just kind of find a spot where they are comfortable. And then we kind of just work from there and just slowly sort of introduce things. And it's, it's definitely a slow, gradual, you know, process of an introduction to dif different things. So they feel confident. I think, I think like, I think everybody kind of falls on, on a spectrum here. Mm -hmm. Like I, yeah. I feel like all the clients that I train are uh, somewhere here, like to Justin's point, like, I think that was really common uh, that I would go get like a little, I you know block off a little five yeah. by five square in the corner of the gym somewhere. Especially the freeways. Right? Yeah, and bring dumbbells over and all, you know straight bar stuff, whatever I needed, and we would do like the whole session there to where you know you know he or she felt very private uh, with me, even though we're in this public gym. So I think, uh, and then that that's the extreme, right? Where someone they come in and they're just like they're so worried about everybody looking at them. So you do things like that. But I mean, I think everybody has a little bit of being self conscious, especially when you first come in the gym. And that part of a trainer is coaching them through that process that honestly, most people here, they're here for themselves and what they're working on their own goals. They probably don't give a shit about you and where you're at. They all had to start somewhere. Most people in the gym too, it's amazing, are growth-minded people. They're trying to improve themselves. So they're not judging you. They're probably more supportive. This is yeah. the same like kind of conversation that we would have. Uh, the, the gyms that uh, my, my female clients were most intimidated in, they would probably be the most accepted in, like going into like a you know, a very bodybuilder esque or powerlifter gym seems so scary because the bodies look so amazing. Oh my god, everybody there will help you. Yeah, but the yeah. the irony of those those are some of the most amazing people to talk to inside the gym because they've dedicated their whole life to working in there. They see someone like you who's starting, and they're it, it motivates them and inspires them. And that most all of them are actually really cool to talk to. Well, I feel like we also had this in mind when we were going through like what to put up for our YouTube content. Like I think that. You know, people can and have access to information now that like, you know, as we were coming up through like getting into the gym was it was definitely intimidating if you didn't already know what you're doing. But if you have the ability to kind of go through the videos, watch, you know, like uh, certain exercises that might, you know, be more intimidating for you. So you have some kind of grasp of it and you can practice it at your house or, you know, like you, you just, you can gain more knowledge that way coming into the gym. I think, you know, it, it's very empowering that way. And I think it, a lot of that will dissolve over, you know, the amount of information that you consume. Yeah. And this is a, this question is a great opportunity to talk about how you would communicate uh, to somebody who's trying to maybe embark on a fitness journey but has some 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 roadblocks you know i i just read a post earlier um by a, a trainer who talked about how you know one of the main reasons why people say they can't work out is they don't have enough time um now this person's argument was well, that's a soft way of putting it it was a lot more bold oh that. yeah and it, the way they, they put it was bullshit everybody has the same hours during the week um you know Three hours for the week is only 1.7% of your total time. Anybody can have time. You just have to make time, which is technically correct, but is a terrible way to positively influence someone. So someone like this who says, you know, oh God, I want to work out, but I'm really afraid of the gym. Some trainers might be like, oh, who cares? Come to the gym. Nobody gives a shit. Let's come work out. You got to be fearless. Come to, you know, they got the best. You're not going to help that person. The reality is anywhere you can be active is better than doing nothing at all. Right. You can work out at home, and working out at home is far better than not doing anything yep. at all. Well, this is where I completely started to change the way I communicated uh, uh, walking to clients. I mean, I told you uh, in the show before that uh, if someone told me that if I asked them, what do you do for exercise, and they said they walk every day for a mile or whatever, I would scoff at that like it's not exercise, which is the complete opposite now because someone like this – this is a, a classic example of what a great place for this person to start. Say, hey, you know, if you don't like coming to the gym right now, don't go to the gym. Yeah. Who says you need to do that? Like, yeah. let's create some new good behaviors and habits that you weren't currently doing. Have you ever gone for a 30-minute walk every day? Totally. And they go, no, I've never done that. Do you think you could commit to 30 minutes of walking every single day? Yes, I do. Well, guess what? That's seven days a week times 30 minutes. That's actually a good amount of exercise for somebody who yeah. was not doing it whatsoever. You need something to build on. Right. Yeah. And it, a lot of times, like it, it, 
that's where it gets it hard because they want to build everything at once and they want to get like you know go to to you know intermediate status like right away it's like no like take your time find out what you can do first like yeah. what, what are those few things you can do right now what does that look like now younger younger me with a person like this would really try hard to convince them to go to the gym i try motivating them I try using logic and know the gym is the best place. You got to be fearless. This is for your health. And I, I would try and do that. And what would end up happening um, is I would talk someone out of it. I would make such a compelling case that the gym is the best place to work out. Or they do it begrudgingly and then they and fucking then, then they go and they never come back again. Right, right. right. Or or I make such a good case for the gym that the person thinks, well, that's the only place I'll get fit, but I'm not going to go there, so I'm not doing anything at all. And I would have lost the person entirely just like i said earlier with the with the whole time argument instead what's the goal the goal is to get the person to start somewhere now here's the irony of this okay the irony is you take someone like this who's afraid of going to the gym because they're being triggered and you tell them you don't got to go to the gym just do some stuff at home and let's say they start with two exercises at home and they just practice those and eventually they do three exercises and then four exercises mm -hmm. do you think they're gonna have more confidence to go into a gym of oh, course. Yeah. Now they've been doing something. Yeah. Now they're kind of into it and they think, okay, maybe now they got some momentum. I have the courage to step into the gym. So this is a lesson for all you trainers out there. You know, uh, put your, your, your be empathetic and remember what your goal is. Your goal is not to be right. You're not trying to win an argument with the person or to tell them what the best thing is necessarily. Your goal is to influence them positively, and any step forward is a step forward.